Hey everyone, it is Tim with Bevan Farm and today I'm going to be installing some LED lights on my Gravely Zero Turn riding mower. Uh, all I'm going to be using for this, besides my lights, is some brackets that you can get at Walmart uh, and a wiring harness that I also got at Walmart. I could have built this wiring harness with the relay and fuse and all that stuff, but it was only $15 at Walmart and I can't even do all the components for that much. Uh, so what I'm doing is finding a spot to put these brackets. We're going to mount them. I'm going to have them on these arms here. And then I'll run the wiring. The battery is right here underneath the seat. And then I'm going to put the switch right over here in this little recess that I never use. So let's get after it. First, I'm just going to grab some self-tapping screws. And I have my bracket sitting right on there. I like I already drilled a hole. So we're just gonna put this in. Nice and easy, boom. That one is ready to go. Now let's go, <clears throat> excuse me, over to the other side. I'm gonna figure out where I want this one to go. That one's a little easier because it juts out and so I can adjust the light because the bolt isn't directly underneath it. it's kind of off to the side and so I have to tilt it over to flash straight ahead. Problem is if I do this here, I don't really have much movement on the light. So I may put the bracket over here. I know that it's not gonna be the most strength, but it should be okay. So let's keep fiddling with it. Maybe I should go that way. Uh, don't know. I'm gonna figure that out and we'll come back to when I install it. All right, so I found my spot. I think that it's gonna give me enough adjustability to shine the light and for all this is just a lawnmower. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but I think I found the spot that I wanted in. Get it on there nicely, there we go. I think that I should be able to Put this one on and adjust it enough. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. And I can always give the bracket a couple taps with a hammer and make it sit how I want it to. Let's go ahead and put a nut on the back of this bolt. And then I'll grab the other light, do the same thing. In fact, I can kind of bend it. There we go, that'll work. I'll get it tight in a minute. Okay. Cut the nut, let me grab the washer for this one. And then we will get it set up. Move some of this stuff out of the way so I don't kick it while I'm walking around. All right, on to the next thing I'm gonna Grab the wiring harness. Right, I've got the lights sitting in roughly the position I want them. So what I'm going to do now is take the wiring harness that I've got. So on one end, it has the positive and negative. They're going to go to the battery. It has the relay right there. And so those are going to get mounted right here underneath the seat. And then I also have the two leads that come out to the lights. I got that. And then there's the switch. There's plenty of wire here. I'm actually gonna have to hide some of it. Uh, this switch is gonna go over here. Just sit that there out of the way right now. So now I am going to try and find a spot for the wiring to go from the battery compartment all the way to the front. Let me bring the camera over here real quick. I'll show you what we're working with. So I'm going to be hooking up to the battery right here. This is the seat. And I'm going to try and make it all the way up to the front. Shouldn't be too bad. There's lots of spots to put it on here. So let's find that and then I'll come back to you. So I found my spot and you probably can't even see it 
It was all the way down in the corner uh, down there by the battery and it goes into the little area where the pulleys and belts and everything are but then that leads right up to the front where I've got my lights. So I'm gonna run that real quick. No sense in filming it because you won't be able to see it but then I'll show you where it comes out. Yeah, that was kind of a pain but I got the wires through. Now I just need to fish them the rest of the way. That was uh, very tight going between that little spot in the battery compartment to here. Had to end up using some needle nose. All right, so I'm gonna pull the wire up to the front, then I'll make it so I can wire up these lights, and then we'll move back right, to the I back. I got it through, not without a little bit of a wear and tear on the wiring harness there. Well, actually just the tape that's holding it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie it to this bar that goes across so it doesn't go down into where all these pulleys and uh, belts are. Then over here where my hand is, I'm gonna go underneath here and it should pop out to this right here. And that's a hollow tube where I can then uh, hook up the wiring from the lights and I can actually stick them right into this hole right there and meet the other wires. So it should be pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. the wires fished through. Uh, they're coming through, I'm just gonna connect those you see them right here. I'll put those together. Then I will be able to go to the back, hook up to the battery, put my button in, and then we should be good to go. Okay, I got the wires spliced and taped up. And now what I'm gonna do is put them together, bunch them up, and then there's a little spot with a hole that I'm going to zip tie them to. And they'll be in that little tunnel right there where it says Gravely. Should uh, only take a second, and then we will move on to the battery so got the wires zip tied and up out of the way now we are done with this part let's move on to the battery compartment okay so you see so we've got a lot of wiring left uh, first right here is the relay and the fuse and then the two parts that go to the battery itself and my last part here is the button Let's pick that up. Came undone. Uh, here's the little button. I'm gonna put it right here. I never use this and uh, never put anything there. So I think it's a good spot. I thought the control thing over here was a little too tight, a little too crowded. So I didn't wanna put it there. But yeah, let's uh, get going with this. This should be pretty quick too. And then we will finish up. Right, so here's what we are working with. Got the relay and the fuse, positive and negative. Uh, positives here, negatives right there. So I'm going to attach those and then I just need to mount this relay somewhere that the seat is not going to hit it. Uh, should be pretty easy, but let's find a good spot. I mean, there's wiring sitting right here, so I think this might be a good spot to tuck the extra. And then I guess if I get a self tapping screw, I can just screw this right into the side here and it should be just fine. So let's do that. All right, I ran the wiring uh, to where I need it. I haven't hooked it up yet, just because I'm not quite ready for it to have power. So I am going to do the switch now, or the button, and I need to take off this little panel. When I do that, I will then drill a little hole and get it through there. Of course, I'll just drop the screw into no man's land. I'm gonna take a minute and go find that. Here about so it turns out that little plate is nothing but decoration. So I'm just gonna put those back in because I'm drilling the hole right through, through the plastic and uh, I don't even need this off. So let's put these back in. And I have direct access underneath it, so I know that nothing's in the way. Okay, got that. Now let's figure out what size bit we need. It's pretty big. Let's try this uh, half inch. Shoot, this thing's gonna be like an inch. Okay. 
Well, let's go see if I have a one inch bit. I might have one I got right installed. Back. I just uh, used this bit right here. It wasn't quite big enough, so I just kind of rounded out the hole until it fit. I think that's a good spot. It's gonna out of the way. And uh, now I'm gonna hook up to the battery and we should be ready to test the lights. Here we go. All right, I'm going to take off the terminals real quick. Or at least the nuts hold on. Looks like it's an 11 millimeter, yep. Do that. Hopefully get it where it's loose enough to get with my fingers. There we go. This is the negative. And then I will loosen the positive too. Can I touch any metal while I'm doing it? Almost done. Take it forever. Okay, got it. Of course, all these washers and stuff are trying to come off. Okay, there we go. Got that one on. Put it back through. Washer and the nut. flies out today flying around me okay I've got that I'm setting this up the rest of the way can't do much more with my fingers almost there more turns then we'll do a negative we should be good and of course this leaves me just in the perfect spot not to be able to get a full turn on there we go got it let's get that positive covered up We're gonna move on to the negatives. Well, I believe I got the lights hooked up. So let's flip the switch and see if they come on. And they do, awesome. We looking good, yeah we are. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just aim them. Because as you see, they're both pointed a little sideways. So now we'll get them aimed and then we'll test it Well, again. I've got the lights hooked up and I've got them pretty much uh, aimed where I want them to be. Uh, the one on this side is slightly off just because of where the wire comes out. Uh, it rubs against the side, but it's okay. It's barely off, so it's okay. But yeah, let's give it the, the in the dark test. So I'm gonna go over here and turn off my light inside my shop. Don't worry, there's still a little bit of light coming in here because I have a door. But let's test it. 
I'm gonna push my button real quick, see if we light up my lift and all those other cars over there. There we go. So pretty good. Let's check it out. Nice and bright. So this is gonna do the trick. And maybe I'll get a video of uh, me driving at night, you know, the obligatory mowing at night video. Hope this helped out. You guys have a good one.